Millie was a, Millie was, I always called her this country's Helen Hayes. That was how one would describe Millie. She was sort of a little lady with great guts and spoke beautifully and had sort of a quality of perhaps Dame Lillian Bayless in her. She knew how to run a tight ship um, and totally dedicated to her, to her work and her art. She just had more joy and fun out of it than anybody I think I've ever met. She was about this high. Tiny, right? very cute, pert, uh, very bright, and a tremendously good actress when she, she wanted to be. She was absolutely wonderful as Amanda Wingfield in Glass Menagerie, and I was lucky enough to play Tom, her son, in that. Um, she disapproved of my being a drunk and my lifestyle. She, she was rather prim about that, but quite rightly, too. She had to control her her very sort of loose group that she had under her wing. And how would she fund it? This was before well, the Canada Council. Fund it. She didn't fund it. She didn't have money. But we had a terrific patron in a man called Southgate, who was a rich Ottawanian. And uh, he was very loyal and kept us going and financed us and got us out of trouble when we needed help. And right. He was quite remarkable, Mr. Southgate. Is Rex Southgate his son? Yes, I think so. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think so. There's a connection I'd never made before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think wow. he must be. He yeah. must be. Um, and I can't remember what Southgate did but, or how he made his money, but he sure loved the arts. Wow. Where is he now when we need, it? <laughs> we need all these Southgates? Wow. Um, Millie Hall, I remember, as being totally precise in her moves and her yes, words, yes. and it was, a, this, as you describe, a pertness, but it was this clarity. I yeah, again, wonderful clarity and, uh, and joy. Always yeah. joy, no matter what she played. Yeah. Um, her, her peas blossom and, or her first fairy in Midsummer Night's Dream was a masterpiece of acting. Who wants to play the first fairy? You must be insane. Maybe the guy who plays Dumbledore could play the first fairy, but... I have to tell you this one little thing about Millie. In my only year at Stratford, I was in The Merry Wives of Windsor. And after about three weeks of rehearsal, um, there was a meeting of actors called by Millie Hall and Douglas Campbell. And I went along as a young actor, and they had decided they were going to get rid of the director, that they were rebe rebelling. And I was sat there as a young actor going, Millie Hall? V. Millie Hall and Douglas Campbell were, decided, were determined to boot the director. And they did. But I never expected that of Millie Hall. No, no, oh no, she was strong. Yeah, she, I think at one point she, she wanted to fire me because I was late for rehearsals and, you know, slurring my way through some of the performances. Uh, no, she was very strict.